Hi Taurus, welcome to your general love reading for October 2021. This is going to be a reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in the sign of Taurus. And it is general, so that means it's not going to be everybody's situation, but of course you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading for which all that information is in the description box, all right? Also, the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. So let's see what is going on with Taurus. All right, we got two actually for the overall energy here. We have success and we have hope. All right, so somebody is really hoping for there to be a successful resolution here concerning a particular situation. Um, so if you feel like uh, maybe your person has given up hope, um, that is not the case, all right? Somebody is really trying to be successful here when it comes to this connection. So could be you. Let's see, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, first half of October. What is going on? <clears throat> I'm getting that for some of you, whoever um, this is, that this um, initial energy is referring to, this is somebody who had lost hope. Somebody had lost hope here um, for a little while, almost like they were lost in the dark, feeling helpless as well. Um, and it's like that hope is beginning to come back, feeling like this success is something that is now possible. So let's see, Taurus. For the recent past, we have the chariot. For your energy, we have the Hierophant and the Eight of Cups. For them, we have the Three of Swords and the Nine of Swords. What is coming up for you? The Six of Wands for them. The Queen of Cups and a potential outcome here is Strength. All right, Taurus. <clears throat> I feel like in the recent past there was this essence of feeling like things were just out of control, um, not knowing what direction you were heading in, if this is you, it could be a person that you're dealing with. Again, roles can be reversed, but somebody was feeling like they just didn't know what what is coming up, what is happening, where things are going. I'm almost feeling like directionless. And this is what I feel now is um, changing because that hope is coming back. For you, it's interesting because we have your your sign here showing up, all right, with the higher fence. So there's something here. There's possibly um, a commitment that you that you are walking away from, or you're just fully standing in your power while emotionally detaching from something, like leaving something in the past that was not that was not serving you so we'll see more when we clarify for your person here there's um, a lot of pain actually three of swords and the nine of swords that's a lot of pain that somebody that you're dealing with is going through here um i i, I even want to say that this person is like suffering to a great extent here so here's the thing though for you you're definitely moving towards success okay whatever it is that you're um, detaching from whatever it is that you're moving away from, it's leading you to success, which is also here in the overall energy, right? And I do also see this person um, holding a lot of love for you and coming up for them is this person being in touch with their feelings, possibly um, beginning to, to heal whatever this pain is. All right, and strength is the um, potential outcome here. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo. We also have Cancer showing up here. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And here is Manix just jumped on the desk. You can't see him yet, but he's about to just walk across. All right, Manix. How about if you sit somewhere, but like not on the cards? Like that would be nice if you can just sit on to the side. Okay, like right here. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, stay there. 
<clears throat> Alright, so we're about to clarify and see what is going on here, if Mannix will allow us. So let's uh, clarify hope and success. Alright, we have the Three of Swords, we have Judgment, and we have the Two of Wands. Alright, so... What is going on here? There has been a lot of pain, I feel. I feel like there was um, either a breakup here or there has been some kind of <clears throat> a separation, but whatever the case is, something that led to a lot of pain between the both of you. This pain has actually um, led to a lot of major lessons and a lot of um, clarity, again, for the both of you. Like there was just a lot of lessons involved here, especially when it came to making decisions and when it came to, cho to making some choices. So I feel like whatever it is that happened here that caused this pain, it, it was actually due to um, a decision that somebody made, some kind of a discernment which may have led this person to um, get a little bit stuck. So I don't know if that was you or if that was them. <clears throat> but it's almost like somebody made a decision from which, you know, then there were these doubts, like, did I make the right decision? Is this really what I want to do? And it's like them standing in this, um, like, this crossroads where they're thinking about, okay, like, can I go back? Can there be some kind of a rebirth here? Um, do I just stay in this pain? That kind of a feeling where I feel like that led to a lot of um, helplessness, some hopelessness, maybe feeling like things cannot be shifted. And like I said, now there's that essence of hope coming back, that success is possible after all of this pain that has been created. Alright, I actually want to clarify the chariot. I don't always clarify the past, but I kind of want to get at least one more card. We have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, so this is a lot of action. I feel like this is, was um, impulsive action, maybe something that happened very quickly. Rather quickly, rather spontaneously, possibly, or just it came out of the blue, okay, for, for one of you, at least where whatever this is that happened, I do feel like it led to that pain and it also um, just led to things feeling like there is no sense of direction here. Like there's just like this chaotic movement, not really knowing um, where you're going. All right, so let's see the Hierophant for your energy here. the eight of cups showing up again and the five of cups there is a situation here that you're moving away from okay very very um clear there's there's a situation um it doesn't necessarily have to be um another person it can be a situation right but it this whatever the situation is it um came with some sort of a commitment there was a lot of commitment to this um it could be it could be a job for example, it could be some kind of an institute. It could be um, even, you know, some plans um, to study something. It, it doesn't matter. Whatever, whatever that is, you are in the process of emotionally detaching from that. And it's not easy for you. It's creating a lot of grief. It's creating a lot of sorrow. It's creating a lot of um, sad feelings. And this could even be something that is... Um, I feel like there's something here, there was something in this commitment or whatever it is that you were fond of or there is something that is holding you there like memories from the past or um, something that is just very difficult for you to let go of and so it's difficult for you to have like a more optimistic perspective but, but you also know that this is the best thing for you. Let's see the Eight of Cups. And of course, it could be this person, okay, that's down here. It doesn't have to be. Um, okay, this is a general reading and it's just energy. So, <laughs> it 
the Five of Pentacles. Taurus, what is going on? It's like you're doing something that you know is leading you to victory. You have that hope for success, but it's almost like you just don't believe that that's where it's going to take you. And the Nine of Wands. Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands clarifying the Eight of Cups. Okay, you... I feel like you have this fear of what it is that you are losing. I feel like there's this huge emphasis on what it is that you are losing by walking away. What it is that you will be deprived of, what it is that you won't um, have in your life any longer. I feel like really what you're being asked here is to really focus on what it is that you have to gain rather than just focusing on what it is that you are going to be losing. I feel like whatever the situation is for you here, right, you have a lot more to gain by walking away from whatever this situation is than what it is that you are losing. I feel like things are not going to be as difficult as you think they are. Um, I'm not saying it's not difficult, it definitely is, but it's not going to be as difficult afterwards in the long run as you're currently um, believing. Let's see what's going on with them. And I, I know we have this Three of Swords for one of the other signs. I just can't remember which one it was. <clears throat> I want to say Sagittarius. Let's see. Let's see this person here. Three of Swords. A Page of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Somebody is having a, a really hard time trying to find their balance when it comes to whatever it is that they're feeling for you. This is somebody who um, still wants things to work out. They want to take things um, <clears throat> kind of like starting over. Let me get one more here. Six of Pentacles. Okay, there is a person here who is, um, I feel, trying to kind of like spark things up or trying to motivate you in a particular direction here. And so I feel like this person is really trying to give to you something. I'm not sure if you're taking it. I'm not even sure if this is the same person that you're that you're walking away from or if it is um, because like I said, this might not even be a person. Okay, so it could be two different people here and or this could even be a situation. Um, however, there is a person here who is trying to give to you. <clears throat> I feel like whatever it is that they're trying to give to you, you know, it, they're doing it in a very um, small way trying to pick things up, but ultimately having a very hard time figuring out how to actually um, handle this properly. And that's um, like a result of the pain that they're feeling, the pain, the heartbreak. And it's, so it's almost like, you know, they don't know if they're, um, how much they should give. Is, should they give this much? Should they not give this much? Should they give something different? Like, they, it's almost like this person doesn't know what to do in order to get things on a different path than what they seem to be on. <clears throat> Let's see this Nine of Swords. King of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Hermit. All right, so we also have Virgo energy showing up here. Um, again, I'm also getting Fire Sign, all right, and we did also have Leo showing up here. Doesn't have to be, can definitely be any sign, <clears throat> uh, but this is just what I'm seeing here. So this person is, like I said, this person is suffering. This is somebody who does have a lot of passion for you. This is somebody who wants to, you know, take that 
or just go the extra mile for you is what I'm getting here and actually bring things back together, right? Just what I was saying before, like to re-spark things, take things in a new direction with this Ace of Wands. Um, I feel like, like I said, you know, that they don't know how much to give, they don't know how to go about it. Like I said, I feel like they're doing um, very small things. That's um, coming through again with this Hermit. I feel like this person is actually... Um, <clears throat> Choosing to mostly keep to themselves. And again, it's because of so much stress and so much pain that they have been feeling. Almost like, you know, their way of dealing with this is to just kind of go within. And I don't, I don't see this necessarily as them going within as it being like um, a negative type of a withdrawal. It's not like avoiding, all right, with the King of Wands and the Ace of Wands. It's just that... This person is processing so much pain and so much disappointment, so much stress, so much suffering, <clears throat> that the only way that they can actually cope with this situation is to just kind of keep to themselves. And I just have the um, hanged man flip over, so yeah, it's like this person is not doing much. They're kind of just... Hanging in there is what I'm hearing. They're trying to just hang in there through this, through this pain. So let's see the Six of Wands for what is coming up for you. So we have the Chariot showing up again. <clears throat> so that's Cancer Energy showing up once more. And the Seven of Wands. Okay, see, so it's almost like, here's the thing. You felt like things may have been um, out of control in the past, right? Um, you felt like there was no sense of direction, and I feel like you're almost afraid of repeating that. You're afraid of making things worse by walking away from whatever it is that you are walking away from. You're afraid of that sense of energy coming back. <clears throat> and that's one of the reasons why you might be blocking, blocking that out a little bit like you are still walking away but I feel like you're also kind of hindering yourself <clears throat> and again like the message here is but no this this time this it will lead you to success if you feel like you were in this energy recently all right or at some point in the past and it did not lead to success right but that was a different situation you were different then that was a different phase there were certain things that needed to play out in order for you to either get stronger, in order for you to learn specific lessons. Certain things just needed to happen, maybe even for karmic cycles to play out. Right now, you are being called to follow your intuition and walk away from a particular situation. That is only going to lead you to victory. Again, always follow your intuition, all right? Um, <clears throat> but this is what I'm seeing in this particular reading here being more optimistic. Again, even this um, main energy here, right, with the hope and the success, this is um, giving you encouragement to have more hope for success because I see you being very pessimistic. You're moving in that direction, but you're moving very hesitantly because you're afraid of that failure or you're afraid of losing control again or of what it is that you might lose, what it is that you might feel deprived of later. But there is just so much more to gain. It's just a matter of you, you know, trusting and allowing yourself to hope for the best because that is what is coming up for you here. So let's see. Um, let's see this Queen of Cups for your person here. Have the two of swords and the, the knight of pentacles yeah so this person is still holding this love for you all right coming up um i feel like this person is just still kind of not really knowing what it is that is going on here there's still a sense of um feeling like this might not work out possibly because you are still a little bit hesitant i see you being a little bit um have just just kind of guarding yourself guarding yourself, especially when it comes to whoever this person is, all right? But this person is, is beginning to trust in the process, even if that means trusting blindly, like not really knowing what is going on. 
I feel like this person is just kind of holding on to those emotions, that love that they feel for this connection, and they're just kind of um, allowing themselves to go, like kind of like whatever happens, happens. I see them being a little bit patient here, um, but not really even knowing what is going to come of this. Um, I do even feel with that Knight of Pentacles that they are, they might be taking some steps um, towards you, but just very gradually because of whatever it is that may have happened here where there was this feeling of loss of control. So let's see the final card here, which is the potential outcome. <laughs> I don't even need to get another one. Strength, we have the Two of Cups. Um, yeah, so that's that's love, all right? I feel like there have been different things that have been happening for you as well as for another person in order for their, for this, um, for each of you to become stronger within your own selves because that is what is needed for this connection to actually be able to come together here, all right, with that Two of Cups. So... Taurus... Taurus, Taurus. Let's see what the final message for you is, if this resonated. And please give me a thumbs up if it did. Subscribe if you haven't. And let's see. All right, and we have the North Node. Step out of your comfort zone. Yeah, you know, and I definitely feel like, you know, what you're walking away from is something that was actually your comfort zone. And you're being encouraged very, very strongly to continue walking away from whatever it is that you know you need to walk away from. All right, Taurus, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.